Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at building a simple demo model on a TIC2000 microcontroller directly from Plex. If you have trouble setting up the TIC2000 target support package or building a Plex model onto a C2000 target, please follow the links given in the description below to access the appropriate tutorial videos. Let's open Plex standalone. The demo models are located under Window Demo Models. Apart from the demo models included with Plex, the RTBox support package and the TIC2000 target support package include a separate set of demo models as well. I should mention that these are included with Plex Blockset also. Let's open the demo model titled Simple Model from the TIC2000 target support demos. A brief description of the model and instructions on how to simulate it are provided here. Let's open the model. The model is split into four distinct subsystems. Notice that each subsystem has been enabled for code generation, as indicated by the thick outer border of the subsystem blocks from the execution settings dialog box. Therefore, each of these subsystems can be independently deployed to the corresponding TSC2000 launchpad hardware. The subsystem labeled 28069 is configured for the TA28069 launchpad. The subsystem labeled 28049 is configured for the TI28049C launchpad. The subsystem labeled 28377S is configured for the TI28377S launchpad. And lastly, the subsystem labeled 28379D is configured for the TI28379D launchpad. Each of these subsystems use the target I.O. blocks of the TIC2000 target library. They include a simple model to blink an LED on the launchpad and to generate two sinusoidal waveforms that are measured with a Plex scope. The MCU's pulse width modulator or PWM peripheral is configured by the PWM block. Duty cycle is provided as an input to this block. The PWM component has fields such as carrier type, carrier frequency and blanking time as opposed to handwritten code where the peripherals are configured at the register level. Note that the PWM generator configures the PWM output pins as a complementary PWM pair. Similarly, analog signals are generated by using the digital to analog or DAC peripheral device available on the 28049 and 28379D launchpad devices. Analog signals are sensed by configuring the analog to digital or ADC peripheral of the MCU and digital signals are sensed by configuring the digital in peripheral. In this model, we generate PWM and analog outputs using the PWM and DAC blocks respectively. Then, using jumper wires, we connect these output pins to the appropriate input pins to bring these signals back to the model environment. Since 28069 and 28377S launchpads do not have the DAC peripheral, a pulsating digital signal is fed into the ADC instead of an analog signal. Note that the target I.O. blocks of the C2000 target are functional in the simulation and include behavioral model of the component. So that we can verify if the model and the peripherals are configured appropriately before testing on the hardware. Therefore, let's run the simulation on Plex first. We expect the digital in to capture the generated PWM waveforms and the ADC to capture either the generated pulsating signal or the sine waveforms. Now, let's look at the hardware connections. The pin numbers for all the peripherals are listed here. These pins need to be connected externally using jumper wires. For example, I here have a 28379D launchpad. So I connected J440 to J438 and then J770 to J769. Next, let's build the subsystem onto the desired launchpad. Connect the desired MCU to the host computer through a USB cable. In the Coder Options dialog, each subsystem is configured for the corresponding TA launchpad hardware and can be directly converted into target-specific code. 
the discretization step size of each of the subsystems is set to 100 microseconds. For advanced users who are familiar with Code Composer Studio, there is an option to generate code into CCS project. Follow the link in the description below for more details on generating code into a CCS project. In this video, we will build and program the MCU directly from Plex. Choose either Run from Flash or Run from RAM as the build configuration. Then select Launchpad as the board type. And click Build. The Plex coder will automatically build the code, program the MCU, and start executing the generated code. If programmed correctly, the LED on the launchpad board should blink. If the LED is in blinking, make sure the dip switch position and jumper configuration on the launchpad device are correctly configured. Guidance for this is provided in the Tips for Programming C2000 Launchpad section of the C2000 Target Online Help. Since we have the external mode option enabled, we can choose to connect to the external mode of our target. Note that although Plex automatically populates the default SCI GPIOs for the selected target, the user must verify and modify these GPIOs if needed. For further details, follow the link in the description below. External mode means Plex schematic is synchronized with an external source, in this case the launchpad device. The generated sine waveforms as well as the captured PWM and ADC signals can be viewed on the Plex scope in real time. This concludes the video on building a simple demo model on a TIC2000 microcontroller directly from Plex. For more videos and further information, please visit our website www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.